Hello everybody, welcome back. And yeah, today's video will be on the Abus E-Series. So a lot of confusion on this one and I just got a new edition, so I wanted to share this. And yeah, basically these are the locks I already picked on my channel. And starting off with the E20, I have the blister box actually here. This is like a five on the security rating. The key bow looks like this. It's a six pin lock and the keyway is very nasty. So this is a well-earned blue belt lock in my opinion. And I featured this on my channel before already. Then also we increase the E number. On the left here you see the E50. Also I picked this on my channel it's a four on the ABUS security rating. You see the E50, yeah. And yeah, the keyway is like the classical ABUS keyway. Nicely Yale style, and yeah. And then on the right hand, we have the ABUS E90. If you compare the keyways, they're rather the same, but this is a six pin lock, while the E50 is a five pin lock. And Abus don't give a security rating on their own system, but it has a three star kite mark and it has some interactive pins. So it picks a bit tougher than the E50. The E50 is really easy, like an orange or yellow belt block or so. And this one is a bit tougher, maybe green or blue. I don't know where it's ranked now at the, in the system actually. So these I already had. And then I saw popping up the E100 and yeah I wanted to check it out and here it is it is a five pin lock here's the key okay bidding um, the ball of the key looks like this and yeah if we compare the keyways you will notice on the E100 on the very left it is not 100% Yale style it's a bit different and yeah, of course, and also the E50 key will not go in there and vice versa. So I'm excited to see what's inside. So let's get it in a vice and we'll see what's inside just in a second, hopefully. <laughs> okay, here we are back in the vice. Key works just fine. So we'll take a tensioner here for multi pick in one millimeter. And use the thin side on the pins. And yeah, let's get picking. I'm using a half diamond here to pick the pins. Starting from the front, tools binding, put click, threes binding, tools binding. One is binding. Now two is up again. Okay, let's check the back. That's four or five. Let's check the front. Okay. Okay, five is binding. And the whole lock feels really crunchy and the feedback is not nice, I would say. Okay, five might be set. Let's check the front again. Two, and we're open. Okay. So leave it open so I get cut it from the front.
Okay, welcome back from Fast Forward. So here's the core. You see it's a bit flattened, so the shear line is a bit widened, which is not so good. But other from that, here's the keyway once again. And nothing special really. Let's have a look at the pins. And we see that um, all of them are spools, except in chamber two, which is a standard so yeah, really nothing special. Uh, yeah, just like the some Abus standard pinning, but they are not brass or they're maybe brass but coated. And I don't know why they felt so gritty. Maybe because of the titanium housing. I don't know, but yeah, not a very difficult pick, especially with these pins still yeah the basic look i would say the abus e100 yeah interesting that they don't have an english writing on it yeah basically it, it says special protection against picking through parasitic key profile so, yeah, eh, I wouldn't say so, so much, but a little bit maybe. So, I don't know where in, in the line of Abe's lock this goes, probably a cheap lock, but yeah. If you're still here, thanks for watching, hope you liked this video, um, let me know in the comments what you think, and yeah, hope to see you in the next video, bye!